James Charles. He finally makes a video about his odd ways. But you know for damn sure that he did this video only because he's scared. Yeah, y'all heard me, the boy is scared. He is scared that the same shit is gonna happen to him the way it did to David Dobrik. David Dobrik tried to ignore things as long as he could until it fucked him over. So James Charles ain't trying to do the same thing. He's got a lot to explain because right now I'm telling you, does not look good on you, James. You need to be off of social media. James Charles uploaded a video called Holding Myself Accountable. So y'all ready to react? Cause I am. Let's get it. Hello everyone, James Charles here, and today I'm going to be making a very important video. First off, why are you talking so fucking soft? Your voice is loud. I literally have my volume up to the max. I can barely hear you. And you are wearing no makeup because you want to look as natural and genuine as possible. I gotcha. About a very important topic. Uh, as many of you guys know, about two years ago now, I was involved with a very public online scandal in which some fellow YouTubers made some very serious accusations against me and within the past couple of weeks similar accusations are being made again and I think it's very important that I get on camera and talk to you guys honestly about what is going on. Uh, when this first happened two years ago, I uploaded a video to my channel called No More Lies and that video was a very planned video. It focused on receipts and screenshots and defending myself in the situation, but I want you guys to know that this video that I'm gonna be making today is going to be nothing like No More Lies. Uh, because you don't have receipts to defend yourself. Okay, so the video he's speaking of is something that one of his closest friends made on him. It's a whole story, y'all. I'm not gonna explain it. He ended up losing a lot of subscribers, but as soon as he made that video, which I will agree, James Charles made a badass video because he gained those subscribers right back. So let's see what happens with this video with no receipts. This is not exactly planned. I don't have a script. I will let you guys know that I do have just some notes in front of me of points that I want to make because this is a very, very serious topic. Uh, but today's right. video is going to be from the heart and I'm going to focus on what happened, uh, the conclusions that I've come to, and most importantly, holding myself accountable for my own actions. First and foremost, I need to say sorry. Um, I owe a massive apology to anybody that I've hurt or anybody that I've made uncomfortable with my actions. And I also want to say I'm sorry to my friends, family, and fans that have to watch another one of these videos because you shouldn't have to, and this is really, really embarrassing. Uh, when this all started online a few weeks ago, it sparked a large conversation and many people have shared. Okay, I don't know if he's going to say it exactly in detail, but he has been speaking with minors online through social media, sending them pictures of himself and asking them to send pictures back, which is disgusting because he is a grown ass man. I believe he's like 21, 22, not quite sure. But in one of his interviews, he himself says that he has a mentality of a 40 year old. So if that's the case, why are you sending pictures of yourself? I'm talking about nudes to minors, literally, literally 14 year olds, 16 year olds. If this was a straight man and those minors were young girls, this storyline would be completely fucking different. Why he has a platform, why he has not been arrested, I don't know. I don't know. Their thoughts and opinions and I want to take some time to address literally everything in today's video um, but before doing that I want to make it really really clear that I fully understand my actions and how they are wrong uh, there's no excuse for them and I don't plan on making any in this video either and I hope that you will choose to watch it all the way through um, I also just want to make a quick note as well that I'm filming this on the night of March 31st. It is currently 12.54 in the morning. Um, I'm alone here in the studio and I know that when I upload this tomorrow it is going to be April Fool's Day, which is awful timing because this video and this topic is not a joke in any way, shape, or form. Uh, and I don't want anybody to think that it is, but I also don't want to wait any longer to speak about this. I want you guys to know that this is very, very important to me and I'm taking this very, very seriously. Uh, the last thing that I want to say before I just get into it is that uh, I think it's important that I provide a trigger warning for this video. Uh, there's going to be topics and things talked about that are very, very sensitive uh, to some people and I don't want anybody to have to listen to those if they don't want to. So I'm just letting you know right now. Um, but 
with all that said, I think it's time that we talk. In case anybody isn't aware of what's going on, within the past couple of weeks, two different- Let me make sure his comments are turned on because David Dobrik, with his first apology video, had him off. And he titled this video, Let's Talk, but didn't want nobody else to say nothing. So let's see if his comments, his comments are on. Okay, he took notes. But he, aware of what's going on, within the past couple of weeks, two different people, both under the age of 18, have recently come forward saying that they had inappropriate messages with me on social media. Uh, one of them being from last year and one of them being from more recent. Uh, in both of these cases, I added these people on Snapchat, asked how old they were right away, was told that they were 18, believed them, engaged in a flirty conversation, and then later on found out that they were actually 16. Uh, upon finding out, <laughs> they were 16, yo. 16. Why are you adding your fans? Anybody can lie to you, but your fans, especially when they see a famous person, just added them. And these were attractive little boys. You had other intentions, Charles. Immediately embarrassed and- James, whatever the fuck. Both people. Later on, when I saw them making videos about it and those videos going viral, my immediate reaction, completely honestly, was to be really, really upset. I wanted to get on camera and film another No More Lies video where I gather all my receipts and all my screenshots and try to tell my side of the story and then just move on from the situation. And now, looking back, that was so stupid because as I did more research on these topics and self-reflected, I realized that the receipts and the screenshots and the, and the specific details of the interaction really don't matter because I fucked up. And I yeah, you did. accountability for my actions and most importantly, apologize to the people that were affected by them. Because by the end of the day, it doesn't matter what those teenagers' intentions were. They're minors. They're fans. You have more power in that relationship because of your status, because you're a millionaire, because you are a social media influencer, you're famous, you're a celebrity, you are a grown adult. You were wrong. You added them who engaged in conversation with these kids. Conversations should have never happened, point blank period. Yeah. There's no excuse for it, there's no, no excuse. Hands or butts, right. and I take full responsibility for that. I trusted the information that was given to me rather than the information I could have and should have gotten myself. In both of these situations, doing research into these people's public social media profiles would have revealed their true ages and therefore these conversations would have never happened in the first place, but I didn't do the research, and that is what is so embarrassing. Um, as an adult, it is my job and my responsibility to verify who I'm talking to and therefore there is no one to blame for this other than myself. Um, to the guys involved with this situation, I want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I added you, I'm sorry that I flirted with you, and I'm really sorry if I ever made you uncomfortable. It is completely unacceptable. Good. I was being reckless and after looking back and finally realizing that this was my own fault, I started doing a lot. See, I understand one mistake, but you made this mistake multiple times. It's no longer a mistake. You're purposely doing this. What's wrong with you? Thinking and reflecting to really try and figure Job. out why I was actually allowing myself to be so reckless in the first place. In all other areas of my life, my friends, my business, I like to think of myself as pretty put together and on top of things. And I couldn't understand why relationships were the one outlier. Why were they not working? Why was this area of me so different? And I finally, finally came to a conclusion. What? It sucks and it is ridiculously embarrassing to admit this, but... What is it? I think I have to, and that is that I'm desperate. I do understand that with these videos coming to light, it's really starting to... Not even starting, it's really looking period. Like, I'm actively searching for younger people to be in a relationship with, and I just want to say firsthand that, that is absolutely not the case. My hope has always been to be in a relationship with somebody around my age or older that I can relate to and that can make me laugh, and unfortunately, I've not been able to find that person. So you look for that in kids. For you to use the word desperate is scary. You're that desperate that you can't find anyone your age or older that you're going to start going younger. Ah, James, you fucking up. But the idea of actually being in- I know what he's, he's trying to say that he's desperate for love. <laughs> but this is not looking good. Our relationship became so important to me that I was willing to trust too quickly, 
miss out on red flags, and most importantly, not take the precautionary measures that really anybody, but especially somebody with a public platform, should be taking before talking to anybody. And there's no excuse for that. When I've watched videos in the past of people talking about serious topics, such as this one, it's always really bothered me when people would talk about conclusions or changes that they're going to make without actually talking about how they got there in the first place. So I think it's really important that I do that in this video. I just what you gonna honestly do? think that I owe it to you guys to kind of walk you through the reflection that I've been doing. Um, so you know that I'm taking this what you do? I came to terms with my desperation and how it led me here. In 2019, my dating life became even more public than it already was when I was called out and labeled as a predator. You guys, I feel like at this point, all know the story, so I don't want to go back into details. Right. But that was two years ago. Pretty much, I had to get on camera and prove that I was being lied to. I had all the receipts to back it up, but at the time, I also recognized that I definitely needed to change the way I was going about dating because clearly something was not working. Um, and in that video, I made a vow and a promise to myself and to you guys as the audience that I would be way more careful moving forward. And that promise was not one that I kept. Right. I'm going to be honest with you guys, at the time that I posted Many times. Lies, I really thought that like the only issue was kind of like the straight guys and being lied to. Um, but I now realize that it was obviously a much deeper problem and I really wish that at that time I had spent the time to sit down look at myself in the mirror and try to get to the root of the problem and understand why I was actually allowing myself to get into these situations instead of just brushing it off and saying like it's the straight guys and it's the line but like it's also the friends you keep everyone around you seems to be okay with what you're doing because they're not telling you what you're doing wrong self-reflection is key but when you have people around you to point things out it can get you to that point a lot faster to change for the better but you have a lot of yes men around you watch yourself i didn't and as time progressed my desire for relationship never really went away and I slowly started ignoring red flags again and also ignoring my friends and the important people around me that warned me that I was going to get hurt and they warned you that you were going to get hurt. They didn't warn you that, um, James, I don't think you should be sending nude pictures to minors. I don't think that's okay, <laughs> but you're going to get hurt though. You're going to get hurt. You better stop messaging them. To them, I also feel like I really owe an apology because I should have listened and I feel like if I did, we probably wouldn't be here today. Looking back now and just trying to do my best to piece this all together in my head, I think that my lack of experience when it came to dating growing up and then all of a sudden having a lot of attention from different types of men, some for good reasons and some for bad reasons, really affected me in ways that I didn't quite understand. Um, I honestly just thought that I had really, really bad luck and that I was being taken advantage of when that wasn't the case at all. And I had the mentality that I could reach out to literally anybody and use my explore page and for you page as a dating app. And eventually I would just happen to find the right person, but that's just not how dating works literally at all. Uh, it's gross. It's weird. Mm -hmm. And it's desperation. I just really thought it was important to share my thought process and the conversations that I've been having with myself and professionals behind the scenes in order to help myself fully understand the situation so I could properly hold myself accountable for how I got here in the first place. When these videos started to come to light, power- I will say it must suck to be a celebrity and being single because you don't know what people's intentions are when it comes to wanting to date you. I'm single right now and it already sucks. You already don't know what, what people want from you. But imagine being rich and famous. Oh, child. Mm -mm. It became a really large topic of conversation. It's a lonely world. And rightfully so. In 2019, when I had my whole situation, I was accused of abusing my fame, money, and power to get what I wanted. And when I responded to that at the time, I said that that was disgusting and that I would never want to do that. And to this day, I still stand behind that sentiment 1000%. So when it was getting brought up again, I got really, really frustrated and was trying to understand because I was thinking to myself like, okay, I know that this situation shouldn't have happened. I know that I, this conversation shouldn't have occurred. I take responsibility for that. But at the same time, like they DM'd you first. They lied to you. They flirted first. Like you didn't use your fame, money, and power to get anything. But I've now realized that that mentality is completely wrong because the power imbalance can happen even when it's not intentional. What I wasn't getting before is that 
the excitement that comes with talking to a celebrity is literally enough to make somebody do or say something that they normally wouldn't, even if that celebrity isn't intentionally weaponizing their fame, money, or power. And that's the concept that I just wasn't getting, but I now do. Even though I'm able to turn off my social media and just talk to somebody- That sounds like David Dobrik in his video about him not knowing that he had this power and his, that him and his group had this power, but he now does. <laughs> Fuck out of here, yeah. Spotlight about something normal, in normal clothes, and no makeup on as James Dickinson, that doesn't change the fact that to them, I'm still James Charles. And that's something that I can't turn off. For me, having a public platform has become such a huge part of my life that at this point, it does feel normal. But I have to understand that to 99.9% .9 of people, it's not normal and will never be normal. And that's where the power imbalance lies that I wasn't understanding. But I'm so glad that I finally do because like I said in 2019, taking advantage of that power imbalance- You only understand it now because people are making videos on it. That's why. Something that I would never ever want to do but unintentionally was. With this situation blowing up, there are a lot of people speaking about this online. Whether it be sharing their opinions, arguing back and forth, or most importantly, holding me accountable for my actions. I understand that posting this video today is not going to stop those conversations, but it's going to Facts. spark more of them. And that's something that Facts. I'm completely okay with because I really feel like these are topics that we need to be speaking about a lot more. I also want to make it clear too that through uploading this video today, my hope and my expectations are not to you know, press post and then forget about it and move on and wash my hands as if nothing happened because something did happen. And Many times. It's not okay. <laughs> and I don't want to just forget about it. Good. Um, I should have been more careful in every single way when it comes to the ways that I was looking for a relationship. I didn't do the proper research and for that I'm once again ashamed and embarrassed. I can't take it back as much as I wish that I could, but I'm really, really glad that I now fully understand the situation so I'm able to do better in the future and I really hope to show that to you guys. I'm a firm believer that when scandals or situations like this happen, you can get on camera and upload an apology video where you say sorry a million times all day long, but the only way to actually show and prove that you are sorry is through action and change. And I'm going to change. This whole situation has been so embarrassing and I'm ashamed but like I said, I'm now educated and fully understand what went on. And I'm making a promise to all of you right now on camera that I will be way more careful moving forward with every single person that I speak to. My For You page and Explore page are not dating apps and I will stop treating them as if they are. I also have already started asking for a proper identification from every single guy that has either reached out or that I was speaking to and will continue doing so for the rest of time. I now also be careful with fake IDs because you're going to be asking for identification. They're just going to send you a picture of an ID. doesn't mean that it's real. So that's something else you're going to have to look out for. I understand the root of the problem. I understand how and why I and only I caused myself to get into this situation. I understand that this could have and should have been easily avoided, and I also understand that I need to be aware of my platform at all times. I didn't understand how a situation like this could affect the people involved, but now I do. And for that, to the victims, I am so, so sorry. And I promise that something like this will never- I'm glad that he used the word victims to describe the boys that he's been talking to. Okay, that's one thing I like so far in this video. Never happen again. I also feel like I owe an apology to my friends, family, team members, and also fans that had to watch this all go down again. To all of you guys, I once again wish that I had listened earlier on. Um, you guys saw this and I didn't, and I'm really, really sorry for not taking that seriously and not being a better person and a better role model like I promised that I would be. I'm going to be taking some time away to reflect and further educate myself on these topics. I think at this point it's really important that I do so so I'm able to follow through with my word and prove to you guys that I will be a better person. Even though I won't be here posting, I do want people to know that I will still be here available, listening, and learning. At this point, if you made it all the way through the video, I really appreciate it and just wanted to say thank you for listening and I hope to never disappoint you again. See you soon. Nah, it's gonna happen again. Remember that I said this.
It's going to happen again. When, I don't know, but he's gonna fuck up. You can't fuck up that many times and not do it again. I'm sorry. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.